the, I guess it all started, sort of started when um, my dad became sick and that's sort of the reason why I went back to Queensland in the first place. You know, the way I see it now is I didn't have any like sort of coping strategies or anything in place that would, you know, help me get through those situations and essentially what ended up happening is I got into some destructive ways of trying to deal with it and then that ends up causing you more harm than good. Um, life was to go, go, go and I was captain of the lines at that stage so there was, you know, extra responsibilities there and um, yeah, it was just quite a full on time and you know, didn't really have a lot of time to stop and think and I guess the, the stopping and thinking really came when Dad passed away and that was, you know, really a really challenging time because like I said, I had nothing to fall back on. Like I, I wasn't really good at communicating. Like so, I wasn't even great with communicating with my partner, um, you know, my family and my friends. Um, I was quite, you know, to myself. And then a lot of the times, your thoughts and your feelings, you know, they they, they tend to eat away at you if you don't know how to, you know, process them and, and release them. And I only had a, you know, two re relatively short sort of period with drugs. So it was a two years, you know, two year period of you know, where I was, you know, heavily addicted to prescription medication and that was just so much more challenging than anything I'd done in my whole life. Trying to get off that stuff was, you know, quite painful and, you know, psychologically really, really difficult. You know, I was a ticking time bomb waiting for something dramatic to probably happen um, and that sort of came in February of last year where I um, deliberately crashed my car into a pole and that was, you know, the moment that I'd really gotten to where it was, it was enough and it was time for me to stop. I'd actually just received a script for the stuff that I was addicted to, um, so I was heavily intoxicated. And at that time, I just thought that that was what I thought about doing. I had no plans on doing it. I was just driving around seamlessly and I'd just had enough of what I was doing. That was the moment for me where enough was enough. Um, and that was the time, you know, call them whatever you want, your ah fuck moment, rock bottom, whatever you want to call it. I don't believe everyone needs to get to that point, but I think that some people probably do, and I was definitely one of those people that needed to get to that point to really go forward. And um, that was the moment that where I just start, decided that enough was enough and I was going to change my life. And, um, you know, it's, it's been you know, close to 18 months now since I took drugs. I went to the first rehab, you know, when, when they sort of said to me, oh, art, art therapy was offered, I was very much a closed-minded person and I was like, there's no fucking way I'm doing art therapy, that, that shit can go and fuck itself. I was, that, but that was the person who I was, I was closed off to everything. Um, and when I got there, um, one of the other actually patients said to me, oh, you guys come down to the art room. Yeah, just enjoyed it, loved it. Um, you know, art's a word that gets thrown around and it's probably pigeonholed to, you know, drawing, painting. But there's all sorts of forms, like I, I, I classify this as art, like it's a form of just creativity. You know, art's really not pigeonholed to anything, it's whatever you perceive it to be. So, yeah, this is, um, you know, a really fun and unique sort of thing and it's something that's extremely popular at the moment. But yeah, you'll, you'll find working with your hands, you guys probably already do this sort of, like, you know, creativity sort of side of things and you probably already see the benefits from it. But, you know, adding colour and stuff to it, um, you might just untap something that you, you really enjoy doing and I hope you do, so.